before I even say anything about this, I just want to listen to what Coach Prime had to say and look at some of these highlights. Give me one second, y'all. Breaking news. Do y'all see this shit? CBS Sports HQ week one and we have our first top 25 takedown Colorado taking out 17 TCU 45 42 Shadur Sanders to Dylan Edwards there for a 46 yard game winning touchdown as it turned out the defense held for the Buffaloes on TCU's next drive and they managed to stop them on fourth down and then run out the clock what a debut for Deion Sanders in Colorado they go to one and oh TCU last year's college Damn. football playoff 510 finalists. yards oh, four touchdowns to start the season what Woo. a day for this Colorado team we have talked about Travis Hunter and the day that he had you can see him 11 receptions 119 receiving yards he played over a hundred snaps in this game on both sides of the ball Shadur Sanders an incredible day for Colorado 510 yards a school record in a single game four touchdowns and then you had the receiving core oh boy oh boy we had a lot. We have a lot to talk about when it comes to this game. Let's bring in Danny Cannell to discuss this first. Danny, going into this game, Colorado 21-point underdogs to TCU. This total sitting at at 63. It went well over that. It went, yeah. went to 80. All right, hold on, y'all. Let me take it. All right, let me see what Santa's got to say now. It's High V's Labor Day weekend sale this Friday through Sunday. Whole beef brisket, just two eighty eight a pound. Six pack Coke products, just two eighty eight. And buy one get one. Foremost, Lord, I thank you for giving me the strength, giving me the energy. What we got going on here? <laughs> What's that? Turn it off. Somebody turn it off. Thank you for being here. Thank you for everything. Uh, wonderful game. Wonderful beginning. Intriguing. Passionate. Purposeful. It was all of that. We had some uh, guys that singled themselves out with their playing and their playing ability. A lot of guys you doubted. One of them from HBCU. Mm. I think he had uh, mm. 510 yards passing. Mm. We talking about his son. In a power five football game. And he happened to be my son. And I'm proud of him. Tremendously. Uh, defensively, we had some letdowns. But the guys came and made the plays when they needed. I think we broke a record. Everything we do seems like a record. Four receivers with 100 yards. Uh, we didn't run the ball greatly. But we, we threw the heck out of the football. Uh, Savion, another back play to... Uh, Great game. All the guys contributed. Dylan as well as uh, Hankerson. The line did their thing. Fought their butts off. We got to fix some things on defense, especially special teams, because I think we gave up uh, three or four turnovers. We gave up the kickoff. We had a, a, a fumble. Uh, a couple other things happened in the first half. But hats off to the opposing team. They're coached greatly. I believe their head coach, I, I love him to life, what he did, turning the program around at SMU as well as uh, here last year. Good man. I had a moment with him in the middle of the field. One of the guys were injured just to let him know how much I appreciate him, how much I respect him for what he's accomplished. And I, and I, I really look up to him. He's a good man, and his team is well coached today. Let's have some questions so I can go back and enjoy myself and my kids. Brian, go ahead. Hello, Mike. Well, it was, uh, I'm not going to say it was fun. It was satisfying in the end. You got to understand, time and second ticks off the clock. I'm ready for the next. Like, I'm thinking, okay, we got to fix this, fix that, fix that, because we got to be much more dominant uh, next week. 
in all phases, not just mm -hmm. uh, one phase, but offensively, defensively, special teams. Offensively, we, we did it. Defense, we got to fix some things. Special teams were horrendous. We got a, a kick block. How can you not like this man's passion? A lot of people ain't going to react to this, and I don't give a fuck. This is just what I like to react to. I like to keep things real. Talk about what's really going on out here. Some real good shit. Ain't nothing better than what's going on with Coach Prime. What he's doing at Colorado. I'm, I'm going to get to that though once I'm done with this. I'm probably not going to watch the entire uh, thing. I'm going to do a couple more minutes. Then I'm going to let it go from there. As well as uh, during their gave up a touchdown. That was horrendous. How you doing sweetheart? For real? Shador Sanders from my HBCU? <laughs> That's the one that played at Jackson last year? The one that you asked me, why would I give him the starting job? But like that, that no, not you. I got receipts. I know who they are. <laughs> not you, baby. I just gotta say it. I would never do that. Wow. Well, he and Shallow just came uh, when I was in the training room getting my foot worked on. He and Shallow just came, and of course, Junior was filming it. So we had a dad moment. They were really happy, uh, elated. Shallow came in there being apologetic. He, he knew a couple tackles he missed. I'm on his butt right now. But he said he had 10 tackles, and I checked the stats, and I think he did. So, but I was just dad in there uh, moments ago and I'm proud of uh, both of them really I really am and 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 junior because his work shows it. his work is why some of you are here yes can't can he I try to tell you but Jay want to believe me because I'm just a <laughs> you know I'm just a lofty old young coach I don't know nothing about football you know I just played in the NFL for 14 Played at a high level in college before, you know, and been coaching youth all the way up for a long time. Why well, do you think we got Dylan Edwards? I coached him when he was four to seven years old. That's why we got Dylan Edwards. So uh, Travis is is him, like the young folks say. Travis is it. I, I really think, uh, you know, I always promote all my kids. I really think we got a couple guys as a uh, should be front runners for the Heisman right now. I really, that's how I feel. And I want to promote my kids at all costs. But we got a couple of them that, who did that? Who did what they did today? Hmm. Yes. Well, Dylan Edwards is uh, phenomenal. I've been saying that since he was four years old. And we see that in practice all the time. Don't let the size fool you. Dylan looks in the mirror like shallow Hal. He thinks he's, when he looks in the mirror, he see a 215 pound man that's probably about 6'4". That's the way Dylan addresses life. And uh, I think he he had a little injury of his ankle early on and he thought it popped. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, God wouldn't have brought you this far for that. Not right now. Watch you, what the impact you're gonna have in this game. And he had tremendous impact. Dylan is a dog, man. Hmm. But you're gonna consistently see what he does on a weekly basis because this is how he practices. This is how Travis practices. This is how Shador practices. This is how those receivers I've been talking about and talking about that you didn't believe. This is how they really go to work. The defensive front, I mean, this is how they went to work as well. We got to clean up some things, but those guys, look, I think they played a pretty good game. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. I just wanted to listen to a little bit and. This is what I got to say about Deion Sanders. I don't know a lot about college football. I never really followed college football like that. I'm an NFL guy. And I'm going to tell you this. Deion Sanders is the reason I'm going to start watching college football. He's just different. He's a different animal for real. You see how he... One thing I also like about him, he talks about his kids a lot. A lot of people are going to say that that's not, you got other players on the team. Deion Sanders doesn't push away from those players. He talks about those players as well, but of course he's going to talk about his kids. Them, them his fucking kids. And a lot of people was against him uh, making his son the starter, quarterback, quarterback for that team. 
I remember at that press conference, it wasn't a real good press conference because people were really trying to crucify Deion Sanders for that move. And he told everyone, just watch. The proof is in the play. Just watch. He said he's going to show y'all what he's about. His son, that is. 510 yards passing. They beat a number ranked, like a ranked team. It's not no pushover team. It's a ranked team. Ranked number 17 in the nation. Come on now. Colorado's not even ranked. Already. First game. Upset. Now, people going to start talking shit if they lose next week. People going to expect Dion to win every single game. That's not going to happen. But if he continues to win, this man, it's just amazing. You know, a lot of people say he shouldn't go to the NFL because those NFL players are too big-headed. They, they millionaires. They ain't going to, the way he coaches those young players, you won't be able to do the same with those multi-millionaire players because they see life differently. They don't need him to, you know, do those things and say those things. But to be honest, yes, they do need to hear that shit from Deion Sanders because a lot of those NFL players are fresh out of college too. Been out on a couple of years. then, But you got them all, them, them big time players. Probably not going to see eye to eye with Dion. For one, going to probably be a little jealousy here and there. And the fact that he's the coach that they have to listen to him. So I think Dion, I don't want him to go to the NFL. I want him to stay at the college level. Continue to, to you know, rise, rise, and rise in the college ranks. As far as a head coach. I'm not talking about his team. I'm talking about as far as a head coach. After he's done his due with Colorado, go to an even better school. But the thing with Dion, I don't want him to go to a school that they have like star power players. They now will want you know rank number one, two, and three in the nation. I want him to bring a team that's not ranked, put them in the rankings, and that's what I believe he can do with Colorado. I just hope he decides to stay there for a while and build his legacy even more. But it's it's just amazing what this man is doing. For real, it's amazing what this man is doing. If y'all not following Deion Sanders, y'all need to. Y'all need to. I got a lot of respect for that man. Damn. I cannot. I didn't think they was going to win this first game. I thought they was going to lose because it's his first game. And, you know, he's just coming up. Because, you know, he's taking over a team and all the players got to get to know how he is, how he works, how he operates. Then you throwing different players in, taking players that used to be like the number one starters on that team, uh, removing them and bringing in other players. You know, that takes a couple of years to build. Shit, he done this shit, it ain't been a year yet. It's amazing. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think of Deion Sanders. If y'all intend on following Deion Sanders or y'all already big fans, you watch college football. And if y'all do, let me know of some good football teams to, to watch in college. Because like I said, I'm not a college guy. I don't really watch it, but I'm going to start because of this man. Colorado's going to be one of my teams. I got to get some of those hoodies, you know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers look fly, for real. But as always, thank y'all for tuning in. Until next time, peace, love, and deuces.